Oh, I got all those rivets over there to do. There we go. Let me zoom in. I don't know how close it'll zoom in. We'll go over here and look at these other rivets that I just took out. Come on, man, focus. There's the ones I just took out. I'm so worried about being I'm going to focus in on it again. Well, we'll back it up a little bit, too. There we go. There's all the holes. There's where it's going to be cut. No, that ain't always broke. It's going to be cut. Way over there somewhere. I thought that was my cut mark. Anyway, there's... There's all the holes. So, anyway, let's go over here to the next set. Back it up a little bit. Alright, let's drill these out. Same way. Start out with a 40. So really, I'm just using two drill bits. I'm using a 40, and I'm using a, a 40 and a 14. And then I'm breaking the heads off where it needs to be, and I'm pulling the stems out. And there's a little stem left on every one of them. Uh, anybody that has the ability to rivet or knows anybody that's got an RV, um, see if they can come over and help you rivet. And maybe come over and help you drill out the... Uh, help you drill out the... Um, rivets. And then I'm checking, so I'm drilling them out with a 40, then going back through it with a 14, and then I'm checking them with a 10 to make sure that the 10 really doesn't go in. I mean, it could go in, but it should be really tight if it goes in. And that's what I've got with all of them so far. I stretch Armstrong here. Actually, take a center punch. And I want to center punch the centers of them, even though there's a hole there, because it seems like they're going a little bit shorter. You can punch them. I'm off. around you'll feel that you'll feel when this point goes in the rivet. Okay, try to draw all these out. And I'll be right back. I gotta go get something to drink. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for a second. I'll help my car over. Pulling down rain and get something to drink. <laughs> 